Hello everybody and welcome back to Bass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where this person keeps walking by and bumping me. Um, but I just realized, I actually, I remember liking bringing Garrus out for his concussive shot when I first played Mass Effect 3. And um, I remembered that I did not like to bring him out in Mass Effect 1 because he died all the time. But in 3, he's very powerful and he's fun to bring out. Because I was just thinking about how it's going to be fun to bring him and Tally out. In a lot of situations, just because it's a good squad with the vibes. Anyway, time to go be sad. Like, ultra sad. Time to be ultra sad. Oh, uh, wait. <laughs> safety. Safety, safety, safety. Dude, this game is pretty good about, like, oh, restart the mission if something goes wrong. I don't, like I said, I don't usually save scum in this game. Um, because it's easy enough to figure out the answers. Whereas in Baldur's Gate 3, it's freaking, freaking, you don't ever know. You never know. You never know about the consequences of your actions. Tally has to come, and we will be bringing Garrus. This squad has been acceptable, and I'm changing my gun. Don't let me forget. I'm going to immediately forget. Listen, I'm just too dumb to use the Regar Carbine, is what this boils down to. Which one? I want the spike thrower. Justicia. It is a real pretty. Even should the enemies are by the force of the blast. Um, is this the one that shoots like three, like a cluster of three? Is that the other? Oh, this is a Solarian weapon. Yes. 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 I want this one. <laughs> no, wait, go back. I was gonna upgrade it. It's fine. I'm sure we'll be fine. I don't think I can go back. Off we go. The sinking laser needs a line of sight. What's the fastest route? The upper entrance. Target the base before the Geth can organize resistance. What about you? We will deactivate defense systems and acquire an escape vehicle. You can do that. <laughs> this unit still carries remnants of the old machine upgrade code. We can break any gas security. Oh, you are concerned. Uh, I mean, yes, I am. But you are allowed to make your own decisions. I feel like it's either like, oh, yes, baby, you can do no wrong. Like, you know, little baby machine. Or it's like, no, you evil robot. There's no in between. <laughs> but no, it's, I trust you. You know your limits. I trust you. I'm more concerned you didn't tell me about yeah, the Yeah, you upgrade. keep not telling me things. You were tolerant of our recovery of Geth intelligences from the server, but this matter is different. Personal. You were ashamed. Shame is an emotional or cognitive response to societal judgment. It should not apply here. I'm on your side here, Legion. I want to help Yeah, stop with the secrets, bud. We did not intend to cause offense. How'd we get here? <sighs> the Geth are better Well, I got mad this. real fast. The Geth are better than this? No. Based on empirical evidence, they are not. <sighs> Proceed to the upper entrance. We will exit here and procure an escape vehicle. Got it. Legion. Good luck. Acknowledged. Bud. I get it. He has no reason to be, like, trusting me as an organic, but I think I've been pretty nice as a person. Pretty understanding. I can't believe it. I don't think it's really sunk in yet. The home world. My world. They're a desert people. Look at the sky. And the rock formations. They used to write poems about What's that. nice too is that the planet didn't get like decimated completely. Like the Geth had no real reason to like do anything to Ranok, you know, like ecosystem wise. They didn't like bomb it, you know, like carbon bomb it or anything. Like, just kind of left it, which, you know, many ecosystems learn to evolve, like, with their sentient counterparts. So the environment here would be altered by not having quarians here. Um, but it would be interesting to see where it went, you know? When we're done, maybe you'll let it. Mass in. Effect 1 theme music. This is Ranok, the world of our ancestors. Our bodies carried the seeds that spread the desert grass. 
You've heard me say, Kila Salai? The best translation I can come up with is, by the home world I hope to see someday. Looks like you're seeing it today. The living room window will be right here. Something I should know? I just claimed the land. I know it doesn't mean much, but when this is over, I'll have a home. Guarian spent centuries as nomads. You think you can go back to living in one place? We have gotten used to carrying our homes around with us. But now you'll have the option, you know? <laughs> this is Shepard being what? really good. That's a <gasps> oh, Shepard is so good. Very, like, sometimes emotionally aware. And looks like a bad A when she's walking around. Oh yeah, I love I do love this visor. Okay. I think they do some bounce damage, but I'm not sure. My little explosives. Good work, trainer. They also, it goes way further than any shotgun has a right to, you know? Sticky one for this. Oh, I should put back on the cryo. Beautiful. The the bat isn't really doing anything super significant. It's biotic. Just like a biotic field. Can I go hit you? Cause I can't, I'm having a hard time. Okay, I'm having a hard time getting to you. Oh hello. Uh, hello. Oh, they all just landed in front. <laughs> okay, I was like, you know what? You want me to climb up this? Is that what we want? I saw the ladder and I was like, oh, I guess I was supposed to get up there. Listen, they didn't really make climbing around the environments a priority in the other games. I'm not used to looking for it. Ah, oh, unfair. You have a good position. He uses the concussive shot, I think, with it. Or maybe his gun is just that powerful, honestly. Garrus, you scared me for a second. Yee. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, my neck is killing me. I keep sleeping on it funny and it kind of keeps adding up. It's the worst. Oh, being 30. Ah, 30 something. <laughs> Armor. Don't mind if I do. Armor, I hardly know her. <laughs> Again. Why am I climbing all over stuff? This isn't like a guest fortification. Dodge those things, and now you can't because they're freaking heat seeking missiles. Oh, jeez, he's, he's like launching missiles. Anyone get a good look at that thing? What thing? Briefly, yeah. If I had to guess, I'd say reaper. Oh no, I was looking at the. They've put a lot. Of put a lot of what? I uh, I was looking at the scenery, honestly. <laughs> oh no, this is working out really well, honestly. I pull him up in the air, hit him once, maybe Garrus hits him. Into here. Oh, okay. I was like, there is no left side balcony. We Gucci. We'll get through. What's your status? Field machines upgrades grant us targeting superiority. We are drawing hostile fire from your position. Keep it up. We'll get to the blast shield controls. Wow. I know legions on our I side. Know. I know. I know. No, legions on well, our they... side. Never thought I'd hear you yeah, say that. Yeah, yeah. I think, even in my other game, I think Tally was a bit hesitant with Legion. And it was others who were like, no, no, it's good, it's good. Um, let's look at it. Very heavy. Very damagey. I'm good, though. I'll stick with what I'm... Yeah, which is the Venom shotgun, I believe. Yes. But I have it now. Good thing we're getting all this money after all the money I spent on upgrades. Got death frigates inbound on the civilian fleet. Car is here. Civilian defenders are on intercept course. We'll help them get off. 
Okay, good. So yeah, having chorus here is what's keeping the civilian fleet from disintegrating. Hello, I see you. Oh, am I equipped? Yeah. I think you're gonna die regardless. Their little pew pew guns don't sound like much. And then they uh, they actually take quite a bit of shield down. So I think that's part of the reason my shields keep going down. It's because I keep thinking that Legion, I'm only doing a little bit. We have gained system access. Enter bypassing security. Stand by. Or that I'm only taking a little bit of damage, you know? When maybe he's not the case. To be fair, I think Tally was like taking these things like a champ. Even better. From there, you should have an acceptable line of sight for targeting. Well, I you could have told me that there was stuff on it. I am going to die. I'm having a hard time here. Pursuing. Stick together. Get primed if they really don't want us up here. Whoa! Anything from the base? No. The old machines have not registered us as a threat. We recommend haste. The creator fleet will be overrun unless you sever the Geth connection to the old machine soon. This battle was centuries in the making. To see it finally end. We'll get it done. Dramatic! Normandy's weapon systems are ready to sink to your target. Uh, I have to be close. Uh, I'm not, I have not, I have not retreated to a safe distance. I don't know why I'm not giving the option to not retreat to a safe distance. You know what I mean? But I, I'm like, I have to have line of sight. Oh yeah, come on! Everybody get to the ship! Move! Oh, just in time, Legion! No, we just running. We run. I am not. Damn. Yeah, I am. Mm. Oh, I am stuck on something. No! How are we supposed to fight that? We run! I was hoping your fleet might land ahead! No! Hey, Legion! Thank you, Garrus. 
Okay, no, no point pointing the guns at the thing. It's too big. Too big. All we did was wake it up. Yeah, that's gonna help. We will attempt evasive maneuvers. Oh, I am sitting on the back. That's right. Okay. Oh my god. Gosh, it's not even doing anything, but like it makes you feel better, I guess. <laughs> this is so. This is part of the ridiculous part of, it, of this mission. Woo! All right, you knock it over. Knock it over a bit. I feel like we're too close. Chamber. Looks like a weak point when it's priming. Oh. The jamming towers have us targeting manually. We can't make a precision shot. We may escape before it recovers. No. Pull over. What? This is. I don't. No. If we run away, the Get Stand or Reaper control and the Quarians are dead. This ends now. Edie, patch the quarry into the Normandy's weapon system. I want the targeting laser synced up to the whole damn fleet. Understood. Do you need assistance? Yes! Just stay down, Legion. I'll take it from here. No! Shepard Commander. Good luck. But Acknowledge. The, well, <laughs> I just don't understand this whole... Shepard to me. I'll paint the weak spot. This Link up with the Normandy and be ready to fire. whole segment I don't understand. I just... Listen, can we just... Can we just... Can we just take a moment to realize that, um, we are fighting on foot a Geth Dreadnought. Like, Shepard's like, no, I'm gonna take care of these by myself. Like, she sends away her companion squad who couldn't help her anyway, because what we're gonna proceed to do is we are locked into like a 20 meter long stretch of land, and we're just gonna run back and forth across it, Target like tar laser targeting this thing, which we could do from the turret thing we were in, you know, by like having better evasive maneuvering. Like it's just wild to me. The shepherd's like, you know what? I'm getting out of my vehicle, and I'll fight this thing on foot like a thresher mall. Like what? <laughs> I've never understood this ever. I've never understood the destroyer it. Destroyer is in range. Missiles are ready for launch. I mean, I'm pointing at it. Find us a target or we'll lose the plane. I am. I'm pointing at it. I don't know what else you want me to do. Can't take much more I don't know. Look at this. Look at this, like, 20 meter long area that I have to run around in, like, a psychopath. And now it's like, hmm, yeah, okay. Good. Oh no. Yee. <laughs> See? <laughs> you just gotta run around. Look at it. I gotta get up and leave my stuff to the stage. I'm like, who thought? Who thought this was a good idea? Who thought? What writer was like, yes, this is, this is the way. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, I'm just running back and forth like an idiot. <laughs> like a little bug. I always think of myself as a little bug in this fight. I don't think of myself as a bad, eh? I think of myself as a little bug. doing anything to it you know like this is so scary I don't like it just me being a little bug just a little guy and like it could just step on me the thing could just step on me you know oh my gosh that's scary <laughs> that's scary 
<laughs> I'm like a hyper focusing. Ooh, it's right against me. I don't know, man. Okay, I was like, Ooh. <laughs> it makes. And then she's calling the orbital strike down on top of her, essentially, right now, right here. She died. She blow up. I, like, I just, it's bonkers, it's absolutely, the thing could have just stepped on me, and I would have died. Instead, it keeps trying to shoot me with a giant laser that can't change directions, like, what, you, it'll, it'll latch onto where you're going, if you're going left, so that you change direction. And you're usually pretty good, but, like, it's just, it's hilarious. It's a hilarious fight, I can't take it seriously. Shepard. Yeah? Shepherd. You got words for me? I'm scared. <laughs> you know who I am? Of course! The voice speaks of you. You resist, but you will fail. The voice! The cycle must continue. Hmm. I don't... Yeah, it's like, help us understand. I don't know. I'll try it. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, okay. We stopped Sovereign and the Geth. We stopped Harbinger and the Collectors. We've earned a straight answer. It is not a thing you can comprehend. We might surprise you. You represent chaos. We represent order. Every organic civilization must be harvested in order to bring order to the chaos. Rating is like blah, the screen. You're killing everyone in the galaxy to save us? The cycle must continue. There is no alternative. Organics and synthetics don't have to destroy each other. The battle for Rannoch disproves your assertion. They're no longer being directed we? by the old machines. We are free. You did it, Shepard. The Geth free to stop firing. They're completely vulnerable. No! Cease. Shepard Commander, the Geth only acted in defense after the creators attacked. Do we deserve death? No. What are you suggesting? Our upgrades. With the old machine dead, we could upload them to all Geth without sacrificing their independence. You want to upload the Reaper code? That would make the Geth as smart as when the Reaper was controlling them. Yes, but with free will, each Geth unit would be a true That's intelligence. true! We would be alive, and we could help you. Our fleet is already attacking! Uploading the code would destroy us! Shepard, you can't choose the Geth over my people! Do you remember the question that caused the creators to attack us, Talizora? Does this unit have a soul? See? That was... We missed that. We missed that interaction, which is like a super key interaction. And I'm so upset he's forgetting. I hope I managed to include, like, at least a link to it. Ugh. I'm so upset. I have no idea what happened to it. I mean, no, I think we, we upload the code... I keep wanting to do the Baldur's Gate 3 thing where you can save in the middle of the conversation. You can't do that here. Um, we upload the code, but each one will have free will, and it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to attack. Um, and with that, that, that comes later, I'm pretty sure. Upload the code to the Geth. Tally, call off the fleet if you can. Uploading. 10%. This is Admiral Talizora. All units, break off your attack. Belay that order. Continue the attack. 20%. I beg you, do not do this. Please. 
we regret the deaths of the creatures. We should be fine. I should have enough. 40%. Yeah. No. Nobody else dies today. Legion, keep going. Shepard? All ships. This is Commander Shepard. The Reaper is dead. Stand down. This is Admiral Talizora. Shepard speaks with my authority. And mine as well. Negative. We can win this war now. Keep firing. This is such a, a stressful one. Yet they're about to return to full strength. If you keep attacking, they'll wipe you out. Your entire history is you trying to kill the Geth. You forced them to rebel. You forced them to ally with the Reapers. 80%. The Geth don't want to fight you. If you can believe that for just one minute, this war will be over. You have a choice. Please, kill us alive. Kill us alive. Hold fire. Whew. Yeah, this one's a scary Error. one. Copying code is insufficient. Direct personality dissemination required. Ooh. Shepard Commander, I must go to them. I'm... I'm sorry. It's the only way. Legion, the answer to your question was yes. I know, Tally. But thank you. I mean, I'm pretty sure it kind of lives on. Commander. But it won't be the same Legion. Admiral Ron, I heard your ship made a crash landing. Glad you got out in one piece. I was listening over the radio. If Han Girl hadn't stopped. He did. We have taken heavy losses. I don't know if we can. Where are we supposed to go? You are welcome to return to Ranog at Moran with us. Legion? No, I'm sorry, Commander. Legion sacrificed itself to give us all intelligence. It will be honored. Good. And we will honor Legion's promise. The Geth fleet will help you retake Earth, and our engineers will assist in building the Crucible. As will ours, of course. Admiral, had you considered possible settlement sites? We... The southern continent had excellent farmland, as I recall. Are you gonna be okay? <laughs> I believe so, Commander. Thank you. This will be interesting. Like, what's wild, right? Like, this was like the defining, one of the defining battles of, like, what is it? Not battles, but. Shopping for another house? I can't think of the word. Beachfront property. Yeah. Claim it fast. It's a buyer's market. <laughs> one of the most defining, uh, what do you call it? Like, Wars. You okay? I know working with the Geth will be difficult. I'm not staying. I'm coming with you. <gasps> Woo! I do it. Anyway, what am I trying to say? I need to edit out. If I remember that, I need to edit out me trying to do stupid words earlier. But the conflict, that's what the word, the conflict between the Quarians and the Geth was one of the most defining ones of, like, this cycle, right? Like, you had the Rachni one as well, but, like, this conflict was a huge defining conflict of like this, this these these 50,000 year cycle and so like just having like having this be resolved peacefully for both sides is incredible i think this would give like a huge hope that like you know maybe maybe some, if we can if we can resolve this right like we could fix anything you know i mean the reapers are obviously much bigger but it's still like it's intense so, and it's just, oh, it warms my heart that Tally gets to come home. I know she's lost a lot, but like, now she gets to have a home. I wasn't gonna ask. I think you've earned a few favors with the fleet. I'm asking them to launch an assault on the Reapers. Figured that makes us even. 
If the Reapers were going to stay on Earth, sure. But sooner or later, they'll come to Rannoch. We did just kill one of them. So I'm coming with you to stop them. If you think I can help. Whee! You sure about this? Yeah. I look at all this. This picture of hope and peace. And all I see is everyone I've lost. Yeah. My team on Hastrum, my father, even Legion. I'm mourning again. How crazy is that? It's not crazy at all. It was a good sentient friend, you know? It is beautiful, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. This is so poignant when you're like romancing her. It'll be her. years before we can live without our suits completely. Cause you just look at her. But right now, right now, I have this. Woo! And we're like <laughs> coming around to look. I don't want to hear it from you. You've helped resolve the situation I with the don't want to hear it from you. Yes, now that I've been successful. Well, in fact, I've read the reports. You ended a war three centuries in the making. I had a lot of help. We have isolated pockets of remaining Geth. As best we can tell, they are Geth bodies loaded with Reaper code. But they are just a tiny fragment of the full Geth fleet. You've done the impossible, Commander. And I may be able to provide help of my Oh, own. now that now that I've I've received mm. information from my government. It's too sensitive to discuss over an unsecured channel. What if I come to the Citadel? Yes, that would be best, Commander. I'll be waiting for you in Counselor Udina's office. Now the again the guy I had a discussion with uh, at work couple like a week ago uh brought up the fact i don't know actually this wasn't him this was actually my friends we've been we've been talking about mass effect recently like me and my like two best friends she brought up how she's like i don't remember being this peeved at the asari um when you go to thessia right um and which is very different from how i reacted to it when i first played but like we've it's been many years since we've all played you know like initially like change as a person you know a little bit maybe you, you see things now and you're like mm, I have better context for like framing this and like I'm like mm, yeah I don't know that's bad or whatever you know but it just is frustrating my friend pointed out that it was frustrating that, that, that the Asari only come to you after you're like after you've like done a whole bunch of things and they're like mm, maybe now we can be involved and it's like I what you know and like it's frustrating. I guess she didn't point out quite like that. I, I'm here, I'm remembering what she said about being frustrated with the Asari, and I'm looking at this now, now that the counselor has contacted me, and I'm like, oh, you said you're contacting me now, after I've, like, solved a major, I solved the genophage crisis, I solved the freaking Geth and Quarian crisis, and now you come to me? It's just frustrating. Um, but I'm trying to not let that color my impressions of this time around too much but you know it's probably too late <laughs> but anyway thank you all for joining me i'm going to go ahead and call this one here uh really quick i want to say thank you to my patrons to all my patrons including my equine tier patrons thank you so much fame for your support i very much appreciate it and I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. You've gone above and beyond in your support of me and the channel. And I cannot thank you enough. So thank you all again. And I hope to see you in the next one.